students, I'm Mrs. D.K. Asawo. I'll be taking you on the subject economics. And for today, we'll be looking at the theme, principles of economics and the topic, basic tools of economic analysis. As we are very familiar with, economics is a science. And in science, we observe situations in the economy we analyze situations in the economy and we interpret the situations based on our, on our analysis. And to do all of these, we use tools. These tools for us in economics are called basic tools and they are charts, they include graphs, they include measures of central tendencies like the mean, the median and mode. So quickly, We'll be looking at tables. Tables are orderly layouts of rows and columns. Basically, tables are used to discover relationship between variables. We have a table with price and quantity demanded. This table is just basically to look at or analyze the relationship that price have with quantity demanded. Okay, so from the table we can easily say at a lower price of 2 Naira, more quantities were demanded. And at a higher price of 9 Naira, fewer quantities were demanded. Another group of tools are charts. And charts are simply sketches that we use for economic analysis. And examples of charts are bar charts, pie charts, map graph, as the case may be. Quickly, we'll be looking at the different types of charts. And one of it is a bar chart. Bar charts could be represented horizontally like this or vertically like this. And we have three basic types of bar charts. We have the simple bar chart. We have the component bar chart and we have the multiple bar chart. Now, for the simple bar chart, it's for a variable with just one data. Okay, if you have the case of a representation where you have just one data, for example, let's look at the quantity of apples produced in three years okay so if you say 1992 93 and 94 and we have 5,000 quantity in this year 7,000 in this year and 9,000 now a simple table like this can be represented on a simple bar chart like this you have your years and you have your quantities so you can actually represent this on this format or on this format but in a case where you have more than one variable assuming we have three variables apple oranges and mango for three different years 1992 93 and 94 and for apples for mango and for oranges for 1992 we have 200 we have 300 here and 400 250 in 1993 270 and 290 and 400 for apples 300 for mango and 150 for oranges now when we have a scenario like this this can be represented on a component bar chart or on a multiple bar chart another chart we'll be looking at is the pie chart it is a circular statistical diagram that is partitioned or sectored into different parts and each part representing a component of a data like the case we have on the board this is a pie chart representing the quantity or amount of fruits sold let's look at a table 
depicting this. From our pie chart, we have five fruits. And quantity or amount. Okay, let's assume we sold 300 fruits. Apples. We sold 100. We have oranges. We sold 80. Pears. We sold 70. Then we have grapefruit and plum. We sold 30 and for plums. We sold 20. This is a simple representation of this table on a pie chart. The next chart is line chart. Line chart is used basically for activities that change over time. Such activities could be like inflation, it could be interest rates. Any activity that change over time is best represented using a line chart. Another chart is that of the histogram. Histogram is used to represent situations that are in a group format. It's easily or best represented using histogram. For example, as you mean, I have 20 students in my class and I want to look at how well they perform, making my analysis look very simple. I can easily say for 0 to 40, Eight students scored between 0 and 40 and for 40 to 60 10 students scored about this and for 60 to 80 four students scored this this I can easily represent here using a histogram also we have the pictogram pictogram is a simpler method of representing your analysis and it is best used for children because it's very easy to understand and analyze also in other complex economic situations pictograms are still used let's look at a typical case where we have here we have days of the week and we have number of apples sold and we also have a key our key says one apple here represent two apples now what it means is that on monday if you count the number of apples we have six apples on monday 12 apples were produced this is simply six that we see here times two remember the key is that one key one apple is equals to two apples so on monday 12 apples were produced the same goes to saturday saturday we have 11 apples times two a key is equal to that 22 apples you can make your keys to suit what you're trying to represent there is no strict rules to what you want to use so i can decide to say one apple represents four apples as the case may be in summary we're saying economists use tools to analyze different economic situations and such tools include charts, graphs, and tables. Thank you. This will be all for now. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, drop a comment, and subscribe to our channel. You can also turn on notifications to stay updated on new videos on this channel. This Brain Friend video was brought to you by Sinforest. For more of these amazing e-learning videos, get your copy of Brain Friend. 
With more than a thousand e-learning videos, over 74,000 test items in more than 40 subjects, a career counseling guide, and many other amazing features, BrainFriend remains your foremost e-learning and exam preparatory software. BrainFriend. Learn better. Make excellent grades.